ever pondered why we celebrate Easter with bunnies and eggs? Could it be that Easter's roots go far beyond Christian traditions? Let's take a leap back in time to a period when the world was a different place, where paganism was the order of the day. One of the most prominent festivals during this time was the celebration of Eostre, a Saxon goddess of spring and fertility. Eostre's festival was a joyous occasion, a celebration of the arrival of spring, of new life, and of course, fertility. It was a time when the world seemed to awaken from its winter slumber, with days getting longer and warmer, flowers blooming, and animals coming out of hibernation. It was a time of renewal, and the Saxon people celebrated it with great enthusiasm. Now what's fascinating is the symbols associated with Eostre's festival. The hare and the egg, two symbols that we today associate with Easter, were central to the festival of Eostre. But why these symbols? Well, the hare, or as we know it today, the Easter bunny, was considered a symbol of abundant new life and fertility. This ties in with the theme of spring, a season of new beginnings and abundant growth. Then we have the egg, another symbol of new life and fertility. It's easy to see why the egg was chosen. Inside the egg lies the promise of a new life, a new being. It's the perfect symbol for a festival celebrating fertility and the arrival of spring. So you see, the celebration of Easter has deep roots, roots that reach far back into the past, long before the arrival of Christianity. The symbols we so lovingly associate with Easter, the bunnies and eggs, are not random choices. They carry with them a rich history, a history that is intertwined with the celebration of life, fertility, and the arrival of spring. So the bunnies and eggs we associate with Easter today have their origins in celebrations that predate Christianity. But how did a pagan festival become a cornerstone of Christian tradition? You might be wondering. Well, let's delve into that fascinating journey. In the early days of Christianity, the church was keen on spreading its message far and wide. One of the strategies they used was to adapt and incorporate pre-existing pagan festivals, which were already deeply embedded in the culture and customs of the people. This clever adaptation made the transition to Christian practices smoother and more acceptable for the newly converted. Easter was one such festival. Originally a celebration of spring and rebirth in pagan traditions, it was seen as a fitting symbol for the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is at the heart of Christian beliefs. The parallels between the themes of rebirth in nature and the resurrection of Christ were too striking to be ignored. However, it wasn't until the year 325 at the Council of Nicaea that the date of Easter was officially determined. The council was a gathering of Christian bishops from across the world, convened by Emperor Constantine. It was here that it was decided Easter should be celebrated on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the spring equinox. This decision ensured that Easter retained its connection to the natural cycle of the seasons, keeping in line with its pagan origins. Interestingly, this decision also led to a unique characteristic of Easter, its movable date. Unlike Christmas, which is celebrated on the same date every year, Easter can fall on any Sunday between March 22nd and April 25th. This variability reflects the lunar calendar used by our pagan ancestors, further highlighting the blend of pagan and Christian traditions that shape this holiday. And so, over time, Easter evolved. From a pagan festival celebrating spring's arrival, it transformed into a key Christian tradition commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. However, its date and some of its symbols still echo its pagan roots. Easter, while rooted in ancient traditions, is celebrated differently around the globe. Ever wondered how? Let's embark on a journey and explore some of the unique ways Easter is marked across the continents. In Eastern Europe, Easter is often associated with beautifully decorated eggs known as pisanki. The word pisanki comes from the Ukrainian verb pisati, which means to write. Intricate patterns and symbols are written onto the egg with a stylus and wax. The eggs are then dipped into a series of dyes. The result? Stunningly vibrant eggs, each one a unique masterpiece, symbolizing rebirth and the hope of new life. Now let's venture to sunny Spain, where Easter, or Semana Santa, is marked by grand processions. Imagine the streets filled with the sound of solemn music, the scent of incense and the sight of intricately crafted floats depicting scenes from the Passion of Christ. 
These processions are deeply moving experiences that draw in both locals and tourists alike, reflecting Spain's rich religious heritage. As we head down under to Australia, we encounter a rather unusual Easter symbol, the Easter bilby. This native endangered marsupial has been adopted as an alternative to the Easter bunny to raise awareness about its plight. Instead of traditional chocolate Easter bunnies, Australians enjoy chocolate bilbies, turning a fun tradition into a meaningful conservation effort. Each of these Easter traditions, while different in their expressions, are united by common threads, celebration, community, and the heralding of new beginnings. Whether it's through the delicate artistry of Pisanki eggs, the solemn processions of Samana Santa, or the sweet allure of chocolate bilbies, Easter traditions around the world offer fascinating insights into diverse cultures. Despite its shared origins, Easter celebrations reflect the unique cultures of countries around the world. Fast forward to the present day, Easter has evolved into a celebration that combines both its ancient origins and Christian traditions. The egg, a symbol of new life from ancient times, has hopped into the spotlight in the form of delightful egg hunts. Children, with baskets in hand, eagerly search for these colorful treasures hidden in gardens and homes. Easter parades, too, have become a popular way rate this special day. People of all ages come together, often in their Sunday best, to watch the procession of floats, bands, and the ever-popular Easter bonnets. And who can forget the Easter bunny? This charming character with roots in folklore has become a beloved figure who leaves treats for children to find on Easter morning. However, just like Christmas, Easter has also seen its share of commercialization. From chocolate bunnies to plush chicks, Easter-themed merchandise is aplenty. Today, Easter is a time of joy and celebration, bringing together ancient traditions and modern customs. So, what have we learned about the history of Easter? We've journeyed through time, from the ancient pagan beginnings where Easter had its roots in celebrating spring and fertility. We've uncovered how Christianity adopted Easter, transforming it into a celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, a pivotal event for the faith. We've traveled around the globe, discovering the myriad ways different cultures and countries celebrate Easter. From the intricate egg decorations of Eastern Europe to the elaborate processions in Latin America, we've seen how Easter traditions are as diverse as the world itself. Finally, we made our way to the present day, where modern Easter celebrations blend centuries-old traditions with contemporary customs. Whether it's a family egg hunt in the backyard or a sunrise service, Easter continues to evolve while still holding on to its rich past. Whether you're hunting for eggs or attending a church service, remember the rich and varied history that makes Easter the celebration it is today.